much. Uh, I will show you briefly uh, my new studies. It's a part of my uh, PhD uh, thesis, uh, and it contains whole Bielska plane. Uh, last year during uh, EAA, I said few words about the Białowieża forest, which is a huge part of, of Bielska plane. But uh, now I'm after uh, teledetection uh, through whole Bielska plane, so uh, that I would like to show you. And the Bielska plane is located in northern eastern uh, part of Poland. It's total area of 2,800 square kilometers. And circa about 35% uh, of this area is covered by woodlands. Uh, and as I said, it consists one of the biggest and the best preserved woodlands in Europe, the famous Białowieża Forest, a UNESCO monument, uh, with area of uh, 811 uh, square kilometers. Uh, and uh, if we look at this uh, teledetection, that uh, obviously we uh, find out that in uh, this Białowieża forest, which is outlined with a uh, blue uh, color, we've got a huge concentration of uh, barrels with uh, triangles. Uh, I uh, pictured barrels uh, slash mounds because uh, without excavation, we actually don't know if it's a barrow with, uh, as a sepulchral place. Uh, with the circles, it's uh, charcoal kilns, and with uh, green points, we've got uh, tar kilns. I will show you afterwards. And uh, if we look at the um, whole uh, monument uh, or uh, um, archaeological sites with anthropogenic relief, we can find out that all these three groups, so charcoal kilns, mounds, and uh, tar kilns, are almost 90% of all uh, of uh, detected by us uh, sites. And uh, with this huge amount of, of uh, features like this, I tried to make some basic typology for them. And uh, I found that we've got like five types of barrows uh, we've got type 1, it's a single mound, and I calculated it by a uh, buffer that with uh, 150 meters of buffer dimension, we've got no other uh, features like this. We've got type 2, it's a pair of mounds uh, that occur one next to other. We've got type 3, it's linear or semi-line cluster. Uh, it's a cluster of, of barrels that indicates some kind of line. And we've got two kinds of uh, clustered one I call tight knit. It's a uh, buffer less than 50 meters between uh, one to another feature. And type 5 free floating cluster, it's more than 50 meters between mounds. And uh, as this uh, mound slash barrel, I call only... Uh, features that got preserved whole uh, of the embankment. Because we've got also a modern mount, uh, nowadays we're, mm, we know that they occur uh, a little bit different because the embankment is always uh, destroyed. So we've got three different types of uh, charcoal kilns with uh, ditch around, with holes around, uh, and without this uh, ditch visible nowadays, we've got huge charcoal piles uh, near rivers, always near rivers. Uh, it's a huge uh, embankment destroyed in the middle because probably the wood, uh, the charcoal was taken away. We've got uh, tar kilns. It's very interesting and very uh, similar uh, feature is always in the same uh, type and uh, we excavated one uh, in this year 
uh, it's dated uh, for 18th, 18th century. And we've got some mounts that it's probably, it's for sure modern, it's built from charcoal and uh, soil, but we don't know uh, which kind of activity it was used for. And uh, I catalog it in GIS, of course, uh, but also on uh, sheets with whole information. It's also a part of the project that I'm involved in uh, about Białowieża. So we've got uh, coordinates, place it in, on a map and uh, some DTM uh, with cross section of every each uh, monument. And <clears throat> going back for a second to Białowieża uh, forest, I call it Moundscape because as you can see on the whole of this area, we've got 1,724 mounds. And uh, as you can see, we've got different kinds of them. We've got uh, huge charcoal uh, kilns uh, in the south part near the Hainuka. Here is the, the biggest city uh, in the neighborhood of this forest. So it's probably connected with that. Uh, and still, when I'm talking about huge <laughs> cluster of kilns, I mean it's like uh, 50 maximum of them. So in the other parts of Poland or in Germany, we've got thousands of kilns, yes? So it's still very uh, small amount of them. And as I said, uh, numerous towns, uh, mounts, here are be, uh, very good preserved, not because of extensive settlement. It's the northern eastern part of our country and it's a periphery of, of uh, uh, settlement in actually uh, till the <coughs> late Middle Ages. Uh, so the preservation is much more important than the, the extensive settlement. And uh, what we found in Białowieża are uh, the very interesting uh, features that we uh, think are uh, the, the um, remnants of uh, uh, ancient fields. Uh, my colleague worked on this subject for his PhD, probably mostly from Middle Ages because it's a little bit different than the Celtic fields that we know from uh, Western Poland. But still, we've got uh, even uh, cases when the mounds are located on the, this embankment. It's almost invisible in the field, so all we can do is, is uh, detect them uh, with LiDAR. And uh, we thought that it's, all, it's only occur in the Białowieża. And now I will show you the rest of this, this Bielska plain. Here we've got a cluster of mounds, probably in this uh, type three linear, uh, linear uh, settle. Uh, but we've got also uh, the charcoal kilns uh, in the same woodland. And you can uh, observe that Actually, all of the preserved uh, mounds uh, occur only in woodlands. But we've got also this uh, kind of, uh, oh, sorry, of uh, feature as this uh, uh, field remnants uh, very close to the barrows. And uh, last year I present our work around the, the slime clusters. It's dated always to uh, early medieval period, uh, to 8th, 9th century uh, after Christ. And uh, on Bielska Plain we've got a similar uh, cemetery in line, uh, but in a neighborhood of a uh, hill fort in, in Zbuch. Uh, and also, I found out that we've got all types of uh, these, these clusters of barrows uh, in uh, the rest of the Bielska Plain. So we've got these uh, tight-knit uh, clusters, single barrows, and 
floating uh, clusters. And uh, this year, during the, the Białowieża project, we uh, chosen to excavate uh, one of these uh, singular barrels because through the three years of our project, I decided to uh, dug only uh, uh, mounds that or barrels uh, that I have questions for. Uh, and the main question was to uh, understand the pattern for this uh, typology. And this uh, singular barrel was the first one in the Białowieża that we dug, and uh, it's, we found only a few shards of uh, early Bronze Age pottery in a, a pit in the uh, um, uh, in in the ne close uh, neighborhood of the embankment, and everything inside was empty uh, of uh, the embankment, and it's probably uh, Tsinica uh, culture, so uh, a very early Bronze Age uh, barrow. Uh, but we've got some. Uh, uh, we, we were waiting for uh, dates. But if it's true, it's the, f the oldest, uh, the oldest uh, borough in, in this region, in uh, Bielska Plain. Uh, and some uh, uh, statistic that the Białowieża forest is only 30% uh, of the whole Bielska Plain, but there we detect 1,724 mounds, which is 86% of uh, whole detected uh, barrows in this region. Uh, and as you can see on the rest of the Wielska Plain, I found only 284 mounds, which is 14%. Uh, but only 35% <coughs> of the Wielska Plain is covered with woodland, so only 6% of the, the whole uh, Bielska Plain, beside this Białowieża forest, is woodland. The rest, seventy-five <laughs> percent, was destroyed by modern ploughing. Uh, and uh, here you can see also uh, this barrow landscape uh, of Szczekotowo uh, Reserve uh, in, in the middle of the Białowieża, where sometimes uh, these clusters of barrow, the cemeteries, occur. Uh, in, in uh, one place. So, this is very, very uh, simplified uh, idea and I will never publish it, it's just uh, for the presentation of which uh, barrels we uh, excavated. And it seems that in early Bronze Age we've got single barrels, in early Iron Age and in Roman period we've got these free floating barrow clusters. Uh, in uh, early medieval period, we've got line barrow clusters, and in 9th to 12th uh, century after Christ, we've got tight knit barrow clusters, very, very similar to that uh, Anna showed us uh, today. Uh, so I hope it, it might be an analogy because it's uh, the, the border of. of that in that times, and uh, we've got 70th to 9th century uh, after Christ in all these modern mounds. Uh, so charcoal and tar kilns uh, should be from that time. And unfortunately, we still don't don't know anything about pair of mounds. We excavated one in last year and found nothing. Okay, but uh, this is difficult. How to try to understand and to date uh, such big amount of, uh, uh, of barrows when we've got excavated like 2% of them or less. And still the Białowieża forest is uh, preserved with different kinds of uh, uh, environmental uh, problems, so we usually uh, dig only uh, one quarter of, of uh, 
um, single barrow. So that's the problem of excavating and understanding this barrow landscape without digging, actually. Uh, and to conclude, uh, in the Bielska Plain, we have opportunity <coughs> to investigate barrow landscape in the Białowieża and compare how it was destroyed by modern plapping in the rest of the Bielska Plain because I assume that uh, we should have much more barrows or uh, mounds with, with these modern mounds in the rest of the, uh, this, this region, uh, but uh, it was destroyed by urbanization or uh, modern plafing which is deadly for this prehistoric landscape. Thank you.